Although Tesla has been around for nearly a decade, becoming one of the biggest consumer car manufacturers in the process, a lot of you might be shocked to know that that is not what the company's main goal is. See, from the get-go, the goal of the company is making the entire automobile industry electronic. And sure, high-end sports cars and low-end family cars are great. There is one department that the company has had its eyes on for a while, and that is heavy vehicles, or as we all call them, semi-trucks. And it makes sense too, since the industry is colossal, earning 726 billion dollars in revenue, according to the American Trucking Association, in 2015 alone, while employing a massive 3.5 million drivers. So when the company revealed their first ever prototype semi-truck, all fresh and clean looking with the latest and greatest of the industry, it caused a bit of division among people, a lot of them considering it a fad, and a way of Tesla to destabilize the already great trucking industry, while others claim the thing would be a failure. However, the truth is much different from either of those things, because the Tesla Semi is going to single-handedly revolutionize the industry, and in this video, we'll tell you exactly why. Keep watching to find out more about the truck, what we know about it, what it means for the industry, and where the company is headed in general. The industry. Let's start with where the trucking industry stands at the moment. That is, as a centi-billion dollar industry on an annual basis. That makes it one of the biggest markets in the world. And Tesla's decision to make it their target first, before, say, public transport, makes perfect sense. Let's take a look at some statistics in the industry. You see, although the industry is almost a goldmine for anyone willing to innovate, for years it has remained stagnant and empty, with new methods having been disappointingly slow in arriving. Just take a look at the costs. According to most sources, entry-level semis cost upwards of $100,000. The annual diesel costs can run up another $70,000, with total operating costs coming in at around $180,000 per year. And well, Tesla has the perfect answer for that. Tesla Stations you see, although the design and the tech and everything are important parts of the semi, and we will talk about those in a bit, it is the operating costs and the efficiencies that make the semi so damn genius. First, there's fuel, the biggest cost in the daily shipping business. According to Elon Musk, the company estimates that charging at Tesla's power stations will cost about seven cents per kilowatt hour, translating to a fuel savings of between $100,000 and $200,000 each year. And those costs will be maintained and signed off on by Tesla. So buying into the semi is like buying into an exclusive cheap fuel club. A genius move. Regenerative braking. And then there are brake costs, the biggest long-term maintenance ones. See, because of the immense weight of large trucks, they carry a lot of momentum, and that wears down the brakes quickly. Add to that the fact that the brakes already have to be massive, and as a result, expensive, and you have a huge cost every few months. And Tesla's solution not only fixes that, but also fixes the fuel saving issue, and that is regenerative braking. This method, which turns the motor into a turbine so that it uses the motion of the wheel to generate electricity instead of the other way around, can actually recover the energy you put into a vehicle. As a result, that allows the battery to recover about 98% of the truck's kinetic energy. So all that energy that would otherwise go to waste will be recovered with no problem. And as a result, this has caused the company to claim that the semi's brake system can last for its lifetime. Even more absurdly, Musk claims that these savings mean a Tesla semi will pay for itself in about 24 months. Efficient Design the efficiency extends to other parts of the car as well, not just stopping with the fuel and brakes, since the stylish and almost futuristic design is not just for show. You see, the engineers at Tesla have realized that if they remove the grills at the front of a car, which their electric architecture allows them to, they can also reduce the drag on the car. Now, the drag is simply the push from the air in front of the car, making the car spend more fuel as it goes faster. That is why sports cars are made so sleek, so that they can cut through the air more efficiently, i.e. with less drag. And well, despite being a literal truck, somehow the Tesla Semi has a drag coefficient of 0.36. And just so you know, that's about half of a typical diesel truck. And what's more, it's even less than a high-performance sports car. Battery. Now that's a lot of power saving going on, but what exactly will hold all of that power? Well, Tesla has a plan for that as well. And by far, the biggest contributor to this plan is their new 4680 cell, built on a new principle that removes a traditional component of a battery, the battery tabs. Now normally, these would be the multiple pieces of conductor that connect a cell to others, and this removes the energy loss through these tabs, giving the battery a promised 10% increase in charging times, a 16% in range, and 5-6 to six times increase in power and energy. And if that 
just sounds way too good to be true. The company is banking on these cells, being confident enough to start production of a sub $30,000 car in the near future. As a result, according to Elon, the truck has a 300 mile range when fully charged, and another larger version has a 500 mile range. And because Tesla plans to make special superchargers for these trucks, the company claims that it'll take just 30 minutes to juice up to 80% charging. And if you have the larger model, that may mean as much as another 400 miles. And then there are the ways batteries will be manufactured. According to Musk, the biggest problem faced by large-scale EV production is making enough batteries. But Tesla, as always, has a solution, the Gigafactory. Meant to create a bunch of stuff, but by far the biggest product is batteries, the company has Gigafactories in Texas, Fremont, and Shanghai. And all of them have been being built for quite some time. And if Tesla is correct, they are on target to reach 10 gigawatt hours of production capacity at their 4680 cell pilot plant in Fremont this year, and by next year, hope to deploy 100 gigawatts of production capacity both in the Berlin and Texas factories. Power. Then of course, there's what the batteries power, the truck's hearts, the motors. With a Model 3 motor on each wheel, the small and efficient setup allows it to pick up speed quickly. And as a result, the Tesla truck can go to zero to 60 miles per hour in five seconds when pulling no load. And in case the load is maxed out, around 80,000 pounds, the Tesla will still beat out traditional semis, being able to hit 60 miles per hour in just 20 seconds. Safety. Finally coming to the end of the list, we have Tesla's secret weapon, their security. From simple things like sensors that prevent jackknifing and advanced navigation, which although not new, are never pre-installed in a truck like this. All the way to a whole enhanced autopilot system that will keep drivers in a chosen lane, and in case someone veers out, it will send out an audible warning. Add to that a low center of gravity from the batteries, and the ability to resist impact thanks to said reinforced batteries, along with impact-resistant glass that is used in the windshields, which just so you know, provide a clearer and more blind spot free view than any other truck, and you have the insurance company's and truck driver family's dream. The safest truck in the world. And that just leaves one question. What will it cost? As we mentioned, there are two versions with different battery sizes, and they both cost between $150,000 and $200,000. And although this is just a little higher than your standard trucks, which can go from $110,000 to $195,000, factoring in everything else, the things defeat anything by a strong margin. The delays. Now I know that Tesla promised us a semi way, way back, releasing it with the Model 3, which has since sold in historic numbers. All the while, the semi remains a prototype. But you must understand that this is not your run of the mill electric vehicle. It is by far the biggest attempt at making one, both in the size of the machine itself, but also the technologies and factories that are required to make such things. Tesla's recent history. If you were to travel back in time and ask someone about what Tesla is, you would get nothing but a blank stare or mentions of a legendary Serbian scientist. However, nowadays, the game is entirely in a different direction, as the company has gone from making a one-off sports car, then a small volume sedan, to now a high-end sedan, SUV, mid-range hatchback, and another SUV, all with a mini hatchback, a truck, a van, and yes, a set of semis in the works. And although the company's track record when it comes to new releases hasn't been perfect, with new multiple factories and entire shipments selling out before they're even completed, it doesn't look like the company's gonna stop anytime soon either. So with their extensive research and manufacturing techniques, it's no wonder the company is gearing up for something as mind-numbing as the semi. And on that note, it's time to wrap up. Thank you so much for watching, and leave a like if you enjoyed it. And with that, I'll see you next time.